In this video, we will discuss troubleshooting aspects of the Hawker 800 XP cabin temperature control system. This system is also applicable to the Hawker 1000, 850 XP, 900 XP, and 750 series aircraft. As with other systems, certain specific information will assist in minimizing troubleshooting time. Initially, it should be confirmed whether only automatic control or both auto and manual selection is inoperative or unsatisfactory. Additionally, it is useful to know whether the control issue is only evident during ground operation or also in... In manual control mode, the cockpit temperature selector in the manual range signals the cabin temperature control valve. If the valve is being appropriately positioned by the manual selection, valve open for hot and closed for cold, but the delivery duct temperature is not reflecting the same, the heat exchanger and air cycle machine effect on source air should be investigated. In auto control mode, the auto controller in conjunction with the cockpit selector plus cabin temps and duct temps sensors inputs results in cabin temp control valve positioning. If auto control is the issue, before detailing detailed checks of sensors and other components, make sure the following is confirmed. Check that the cabin cockpit switch light in the flight deck is in the cockpit position for normal pilot temperature control. Temperature selection in the manual range will override the uh, cabin VIP seat selection for auto control. Also check the blower that draws cabin air across the temp cabin temperature sensor is operating. Blower suction should be felt at the cabin bulkhead grill. The inability to achieve low duct temperatures for maximum cabin cooling during ground operation is commonly a result of poor heat exchanger performance. The heat exchanger inlet and top surface should be checked for any ram airflow obstruction. Removal of the heat exchanger from the airplane for workshop cleaning may be necessary to restore full efficiency. The low limit system operates independently. It is not part of the auto control circuit. The low limit sensor signals the low limit control valve to open it at approximately five degrees Celsius duct temp to avoid freezing in the water separator. If the low limit valve is either stuck open or being signaled open when duct temperature is not at the low limit, the resulting duct temperature minimum would be typically 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. Any erroneous signal from the temp sensor may be eliminated by tripping the panel DA, subpanel D circuit breaker labeled low limit temp sensor during ground checks. If the issue is freezing of the air delivery with maximum cold selected, the low limit valve may not be opening as required. On aircraft with the Honeywell 36-150W APU installation, this could be due to the filter in the valve servo line being clogged. The filter screen within the line fitting should be inspected and cleaned. The Aircraft Maintenance Manual, Chapter 21-60-00, may be reviewed for full system description and operation. For additional information on this subject, contact Hawker Technical Support on 1-800-429-5372 or email hawker underscore one two five underscore support at txtab.com.